Hey everyone. So today I've got something really cool to share with you. It's the Event VRX Pro and the HD0 ground station that goes with it. And in, in this video, I'm going to show you how it works and how you'll be able to use it at an upcoming event. Are we at a 10? Is this, would you score this a 10 out of 10 for video? Like so what is the Event VRX Pro? It's our answer to solve the problem of bad video quality at large race events. It does this by having a distributed network of receivers throughout the racetrack and then merging all of those together pixel by pixel to give the best possible picture. There's no limit to the number of receivers that we can merge together. This allows us to create a very robust video receiver network that will allow us to make more and more complicated tracks a reality in the future. So we're very excited about this and so are race organizers. Just like our standard event VRX, our new system can also receive analog and it will also merge multiple analog signals from multiple receivers together. This makes this a comprehensive solution for HD0 and analog pilots alike. Unlike our event VRX though, Everything is done through HDMI exclusively. We've also updated the firmware for the HD0 goggle. If you have version 9.5 or higher, that's the one that you need in order to have the best experience with the Event VRX Pro system. With this update, we eliminate HDMI input latency. It's less than one millisecond. And we add HDMI input recording so that you can still record all of your flights, even if it's done with our Event VRX Pro system. With the Event VRX Pro, we actually recommend placing the Event VRX in the middle of the track or kind of in the middle of large areas of a flying area rather than on the perimeter far away. With HD0, we actually get better reception and better noise rejection when placing things in the kind of the middle of the action, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but that's what we found. So, how does the system work? Well, we've got the nodes that are, are placed out on the field, and then HDMI is run to this HD0 ground station. The ground station has two inputs here and here. So we can combine two nodes together for one channel with one of these boxes. If you want to combine more nodes, then you take the output of this and you chain it to another one of these boxes and you keep on merging. The way this system works is this is an FPGA that very quickly compares and combines the HDMI signals coming into it to pick the best image from both. And then it outputs it for the pilot through HDMI. So there's a pilot output right here and then there's a second pilot output here. And what's different about these outputs versus the ones over here is the pilot outputs are at full 90 FPS. And then the broadcast ones here are at 60 FPS. To use the system, all you need to do is connect the HDMI cable for the pilot output of the ground station to the HDMI input of your HD0 goggles. It's really important to point out though, I've seen a lot of people plug the HDMI out from this into the HDMI out of the goggle, and obviously that doesn't work. So just read the labels on the bottom of your goggle when you plug it in. Make sure that you plug into the HDMI input here, not the HDMI output. After that, you just go to the source menu and pick HDMI input. It'll automatically start recording there is no recording indicator because adding the indicator would introduce additional delay and we want zero delay. So when you walk up to the pilot stand, you'll find the right channel number, HDMI cable, and you'll take your goggle. And what I recommend is that you loop the HDMI cable down from the top of your strap like this, and then bend it back up and plug it in. Doing this gives a strain relief for the cable and you won't have any risk of pulling on the cable while you're flying. 
And then of course, once you land, I highly recommend that you unplug the goggle from HDMI before you walk off. And that's it. It's a near zero latency added merge system that's unique to HD zero that is just amazing to fly with. And I know you're really gonna like it. So let's talk pricing and availability because I'm sure people are gonna ask. Unfortunately, right now, this is mostly a prototype that we've used to solve the problem of bad video quality at race events. We're not making a lot of them to start with, and where you will see them are at these large events, particularly with multi-GP. I know that you're very interested and I'm very excited that you are too, and I, I do think this is something that HD0 really excels at, and this is a one-of-a-kind solution that I'm really excited for the pilots to be able to use. Just bear with us on being able to buy it in the future. The rest of the video, I'll show some clips of some side-by-side -side comparisons of using the Pro system with merging versus just using the built-in goggle signal. So we have under the plane the second NVRX Pro right here. So we just place it on the ground so that we're close to a lot of the track elements and we have more of a clear line of sight to everything. That's the key to making this work. There it is. So we got the fiber optic HDMI cable coming up to the stage. And then going into each of these HD0 ground station boxes. So we've got one input from one node, another input from another node. These merge together with this merge box. And then there's a pilot output, spotter output, and then 260 FPS outputs. And then each of these boxes are, are for each uh, of the four channels we're flying. Then that gets piped over to the race ops. T-Bell says, man, video looking very good on the stream this year. If you're just joining us, T-Bell, lots of reasons for it, but mainly reason the new system has two stations, one on the 50-yard line opposite the flight line, one over here in the corner by our timing and scoring trailer. And so diversity at each of those boxes and switching back and forth on new HD0 receivers that is supporting analog and digital and video i mean what would you score it right now i'm looking i'm looking at the same thing you are at home but are we at a 10 is this would you score this a 10 out of 10 for video like think back to mayhem number eight think back to mayhem seven six five four three two one i think we're at a 10. i think it's a 10 out of 10 on our video downlink I mean, I, now if you look at uh, Team Failsafe right now, Desert Rats in the air, that's analog, okay? So that's analog on the new system, switching back and forth. Okay, so the analog is uh, taking us away from a 10, but let's go to HD0, look at anyone else, look at Flight Club, your leaders. We're about to do a pit stop here on Flight Club. There's Screecher taking off for Flight Club. Go for a ride with him. That looks uh, pretty good. I think your HD0 feed is going to be a 10. Analog feeds. We're launching. Uh, I think we may have launched a new pilot on Team Failsafe flying analog right now. I believe that's the only pilot in the air on analog right now. So we're going to have to drop that down to a 9, I think. <laughs> Philoblastus is definitely a 10 out of 10, except for that talking bald guy on the upper right-hand corner. Where's, where's that? And there's another clean, uh, clean stuff uh, right there. A little bit of mid air for Q. Good recovery. Mm -hmm. Not sure who connected with there. Uh, the trash just goes down in the wind. That's going to be a possible air for him. And I'm following along with Craig right now. He has to fill it again over our H holder. Scrappy. Oh, Scrappy gets a huge 
You made it through for the next one. Thank you.